Hey everybody, it's Megary Master one and guess what? I'm back for another part of Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. Anyway, last time, we got into the Great Tree, and we, are, we uh, got Flurry as a party member, and uh, we came inside the Great Tree, and we found out that the rest of the Punies have been kidnapped, so in this part, we're going to try to free some of them. Um, I guess starting off here, I'm going to switch to um, Flurry, but um, I guess real quick, I want to show you uh, the character descriptions for each of the party members so far. Goombella is a smart, or er, Goombella is a smart if sassy Goomba girl. She hopes that she could be an archaeologist one day. Uh, press X where, okay, and then that just describes her primer. Koops is a timid Koopa who wants to be tougher for his girlfriend Koopy Koo. And then that just tells about Koops' primer, and then, uh, Flurry. Flurry is a cloud spirit who can control the wind. Press and hold X to blast out uh, mighty winds and blow things away. Alright, so yeah. I uh, just thought I'd show that off real quick. Anyway, uh, now we're going to continue. And actually, speaking of Flurry, I think I'm actually going to switch to her and use her in battle. Uh, but yeah, like I said in, um, I think a few parts ago, I'm going to try to cut out more battles. Speaking of battles... Uh, real quick, guys, in this battle, I kind of want to show off what the Courage Shell does, just because I don't think I'm really going to find much use for it. I'm just going to use it on Mario, since, uh, that x Not is huge, and he's probably going to attack me here. Alright, so, here we go. Uh, the Courage Shell will just boost, uh, your defense, and if I can time this right, I don't think he'll do any damage to me. Ouch. Um, okay. Uh, that didn't work. Anyway, uh, that's all I wanted to show. Anyway. Alright guys, and we leveled up from that battle, so level up! Anyway, uh, who do I want this time? How about we go with BP? And our health is restored. I think I might go for HP next time. And oh, sweet! All right, this is another effect. And the effect of the curse increased your coins. Sweet! All right, that makes up for all the money that I lost. And oh, I could have sworn that some fell down here. All right. Anyway, um, now that we have more BP, let's go ahead and equip some badges. How about let's see what we have. Um, Quick Hammer looks promising. Alright, um, at the same time, Damage Dodge also looks pretty good, too. Um, let's go with Damage Dodge, and, uh, nothing else looks really good right now. Uh... I guess I'll just equip one of these for a placeholder. How about this, I guess? Uh, it's just for a placeholder. I don't think I'll really need it, because I'm hardly ever in peril in this game. Uh, but yeah. Anyway, we're continuing on. Man, this is brutal. How much longer till we find that stupid crystal star? Not even those puny puny, or not even those puny puties that we captured know anything about it. And they live here! After all this pointless searching, I'm thinking that we're looking in the wrong place. Um, ouch. <laughs> hey! Elder! Punio, is that you? You're looking so well. Why are you so calm, Elder? You're trapped, and this is a, our daring rescue of you. Oh, we're rescuing, is it? Well, oh, thanks, I suppose. Those are quite exciting. But I think you ought to help the other punies before you rescue me. Where are the others? Big Brother? Hmm, where was I? Ah, yes, right. Your question. The rest of the puties, unfortunately, are locked 
away in the other cell. I don't mind telling you. Those uncouth and vile calves, uh, whatsoever, for the elderly. None. None, I tell you. Honestly, I have to ask, what's a puny like me supposed to do in a situation like this, I ask you? Please, I want to know. But anyway, Punio, listen. Yes, listen to your elder. I have something to say, or I have to say something vital. Listen up. Hmm, let me think. Where was I? Ah, oh, yes, right. Your question. Okay, and then it just moves. Anyway, uh, Paper Mario games have a tendency to put something like that in there. Is that you? Is that my Punio? Petuni! Thank heavens! You're here! You're safe! I knew you'd come for me, Punio! I just knew it! Of course I would, dear sister. And I've uh, brought us a mighty ha ally. Look at him! We're going to get you out of here right away, I swear. You just hold tight in a second. Okay. Mario, listen. We've got to find the cell key... Or we're going nowhere. Um, can I suggest something? How about we just surrender ourselves? Yeah! I don't even know where I'm going with this. Alright, let's go. I apologize for that. I was trying to figure out a joke there, but I don't know. Maybe Jailhouse Rock? I don't know. I was just trying to be funny in there and it really didn't work. And, oh, hey. Oh, well, isn't this a treat? We must uh, stop meeting like this, don't you think? Excuse me? We must... Uh, what? Are you a friend of Mario's? Oh, wait, I see. And I do... I most certainly do not approve. Well, anyway, I heard there were nice badges uh, to be found here, so I came looking. Only problem is, I've been running into more trouble than I expected. Back away, Minnie Mouse! <laughs> but who cares about that? Lovely to see you again. Oh, mercy, Mario. You're popular with all the girls, aren't you? Actually, yeah, that's pretty true. I mean, Goombella kissed Mario, Flurry kissed Mario, uh, and now Miss Mouse kissed Mario. Anyway. The precious crystal star you're looking for is near the bottom of this tree. Then why didn't you get it for me? Good luck finding it before the others. <laughs> Take care, my handsome stash superstar. Let's get together again soon. Well, don't worry, Mario. I'm not too jealous. What a shameless flirt, though. And... Uh-oh. my aching... Hey, you! You're the dirtbag who hit me from behind, aren't you? Yeah, real fair, you scum. You first, you fight dirty, you get dirty. And I'll be doing the dirtying. Alright, and this is another very pointless required battle because this is going to be done, like, in two turns. One, if you count both of them as doing their turns. Yeah, I guess, I guess this does count as one turn. But, yeah, really pointless battle here. Huzzah? Oh, wait, yeah, that's right, he had the key, never mind. I was gonna go, why did they put that in there? Alright, anyway, a key that opens the red cell door. Sweet. And a coin. And some x naught stuff here. And, uh, let's see what else is in here. Uh, nothing... Nothing, and what is in this treasure chest? An Ultra Shroom! Oh man, you you want to hang on to those, just trust me. Um, because the... Oh wait, I haven't gotten one of those yet. Um, I was going to say, there's the Ultra Shroom, and then there's this thing later that we'll get called the Jam and Jelly, that will uh, basically have the same effect, only it restores FP. So yeah, this, this is the best... I think one of the best health replenishing items in the game, so hang on to your Ultra Shrooms. Um, my advice would be store them in the store. Ha, <laughs> store them in the store. Unintentional pun is unintentional. Alright, uh, so let's go ahead and free the Elder. Elder, we're back! 
We're here to rescue you. Foolish child. Junio. Wait. All right, sit down this instant and keep your mouth shut. Huh? What? Why? What did I do? Uh, listen, Elder, I don't know why you're mad, but we came here to help you. Stop your mumbling, you, and mind your elders, you whelp. How could you abandon your poor sister and run off like that? Absolutely shameful. It, actually, this doesn't sound like a really good old lady voice, and yes, guys, that actually is a lady. Uh, let me think. Alright. But, but, Elder, I just went to find help. To rescue you. Oh, stop that whine. It, that doesn't sound like an old lady at all. Alright, I'm just gonna use the Mayor Croup voice. I'm not good at doing voices for old people. Oh, stop that. Stop with the whining. You never interrupt an old elder mid-lecture. Never. You wonder why the other puties call you a doofus sometimes. That's why. And your time to be a doofus is over, because you have to lead our puny tribe one day. That day is not far off, and that is why you need to listen. Now, first of all... Several hours later... Or else! You got that! From now on, you got to get your act together, Punio! Yes, Elder. Yes, I understand. Bah! Only answer once! But say, by the way, why are you here anyway? Uh, I was just telling you, we came to rescue everyone. We started with you, Elder. Oh, is that so? Well, good. In that case, get me out of the here already. Criminy! This cell is cold, which isn't good for my old back. And there's this damp stench. Alright, so we have saved the Elder and Mario and Flurry are still asleep. Ah, uh, well, there she goes. Enough standing around. Just you wait, Petunie. I'll be back. I'll be right back for you. Okay, big brother. I'll be waiting. Alright, so we've saved the puny elder. Now we've got to go back downstairs. And, um, I guess I'll cut back to... I know it's just like a few rooms away, but I'm just going to cut back to the main lobby area. And now we're back. Well, if it isn't Punio. <laughs> you heard me. <laughs> I can't say I expected you to manage to rescue the Elder. I told you I could do it. Don't get all a swelled head. This doesn't mean I'll accept you as our leader. And it definitely doesn't mean I completely trust that mustache guy either. For starters, you still haven't rescued the other punies yet. I'm not lifting an antenna to help uh, until you do. You stubborn mule! Deplorable! How dare you talk like that knowing what we're up against. We must stand together now. We must take back our tree. Don't you understand that? But, but Elder... Shut your trap, Puniper. And uh, mind me, you hear? You're helping Mustachio here. What did you say your name was again? Er, uh, it was, er, uh, it was Marty, right? wasn't it? Ah! Marty, <laughs> you made it! Yeah. It's Mario! He's Mario! I mean, sheesh, he's only world famous. Come on! I agree, Pew or Punio. There we go. Yeah, that's his name. Yes, yes, simmer down now, and everyone else help. Or, everyone else help Mario clear out our tree. You know, it seems that old people really get Mario's last name, or Mario's name wrong. Alright, anyway. Oh, alright, Elder. Whatever you say. I'm not... I'm not heartless or anything. To tell you the truth, I'm worried about Petunie, too. And you're right. We have no choice. We must uh, fight. Right, everybody? There you go, my punies. That's the spirit. Alright, ten punies joined your party. They do not help in battle, either. Thanks, you guys. Say, if 
you have a moment, might I ask a question? We're looking for a lovely gem called the Crystal Star. Do you know of it? The Crystal Star, eh? Hmm. Yes, perhaps. Hidden down, down, down at the bottom of this tree is a funny colored stone. But what do we do with it? Oh, oh right, guard it from evil and give it to a pure heart. That's what generations of elders have been taught. Might be the Crystal Star. Marty, er, Mario. I'm thinking you better get it before those goons do. I don't quite see how just yet, but I bet it's connected to us getting our tree back. You've got all that. You got all that, Mario? Crystal Star, bottom part of the tree. Go to it. All right. Oh, hold your horses. I forgot something. Before you can get the Crystal Star, you must save all the captured cuties. Yep, you'll never get to that gem without the help of the cuties. Not a chance. So here, you'd better take this. It's the puny orb. It's the symbol of our leader. It looks like the sun. If you place this in the pedestals it, you see around it, the tree, the puties will gather. Just remember to take the orb with you when you're done using it. Because, well, if you don't, everyone will just kind of hang out and stare at the orb. Alright, the puny orb. The elder of the puny leader... Alright, all right, the, el the emblem of the puny leader given to you by the elder. Okay, cool. Alright, guys. Let's go rescue everybody. Alright, so... Oh, and one more thing! <laughs> So, so sorry. I've been awfully forgetful as of late. Now then, where was I? Oh yeah, right. On your way to the Crystal Star. If you lose any of the punies and have a hard time finding them, just come see me. What I'll do is I'll give a whistle and call them all back here. You got all that? Yes, okay. Uh, that is indeed true. You can come back here and talk to the puny elder at any time. Hey, what's the matter? Just saying hi, I lost some punies. I love you. Just saying hi. Are you ready, Mario? The crystal star is at the bo very bottom of the tree. For the sake of the puny tribe's future, you mustn't give in to those thugs. And I know you guys are gonna... Wait, I lost some puties. Hmm? What, what is it? I don't think there are any lost puties out there. Are you sure you aren't a little crazy in the head? Do you hear any voices? <laughs> I didn't know she actually said that. Alright, what happens when you say this? Because I know you guys want to know. Well, I'm shocked. Who makes fun of an old woman like that? Honestly. Why, if I were just ten years younger, I'd show you. Oh, you'd be best believe it. I'll have you know that in my younger days, I was considered a puny prize. I had so many suitors, I had to fight them off. <laughs> now that I think about it, there was a particularly fine boy named Punderton. Punderton. Two hours later. And that's how I became the puny elder, the leader of the puny tribe. Now you know the, uh, now you know my tale, and uh, I know yours. So good luck to you. Okay, cool. <laughs> oh man, I love that gag in Paper Mario games. How Mario will just like fall asleep no matter what they're saying. All right, but anyway, uh, I think now is a pretty good time to end the episode. So. Next time on Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door, we're going to be um, kind of progressing through the Great Tree, seeing what we can find, and hopefully finding the key to rescue the other punies. So, until then, this is Mega Master 1, signing out. Goodbye. <laughs>